Good morning, crew. What is happening, gang? We have a three-part workout today. We're going to do a little bit of uh, some cardio-style intervals to start, and then we have a fun little pump session on the agenda. As you know, we love to chat here, but if you just need to jump right into the warm-up for the workouts, you can always check out the chapters down below if you need to just get right into it if you're watching this later on. But as requested by Willie today, we have pump sesh style for our piece two and three, but we're always going to, you guys know me, I love to get that heart rate up a little bit. So we're going to go for some higher intensity intervals today. So meaning some really hard efforts. I have not yet. Uh, so we're going to start with some really hard efforts on, <clears throat> we have options. I put rowing machine down, but if you don't have a rowing machine, uh, you could always do it as a run, a bike, or even high knees. Don't sleep on high knees. It can be, you can make it quite challenging. And we're going to be doing some 20 second sprints to start here. Uh, we'll ease into it. Like I said, I'm going to do it on the rower, but you can do it on bike, echo bike, assault bike. Uh, you can run outside and do this, or you can do high knees, you can do the assault runner, whatever you would like to do. But we're going to start with some of those intervals. Willie, good morning. Willie, welcome to the pump session. It's going to be fun. But you know me. We're always going to start with uh, getting that heart rate up a little bit, that heart health. <laughs> well, we also need to get sprints in, you know, which I love sprints, but it is important. So they're... They're great to mix with a pump session style of workout. So, like I said, we're going to start with some sprints today. If you haven't sprinted lately, here's your reminder to sprint. <laughs> Coming from someone that likes long endurance workouts, this is why I go live to do sprints, really. <laughs> Accountability for all of us. <laughs> uh, so, we're going to do, it's kind of, I put it in a descending order today. Uh, just to kind of keep us locked in. So we're going to go, like I said, you can row, you can run, you can bike, you can ski, uh, you can high knee. Uh, I would maybe not do burpees this time around because there's burpees in the workout. But how it's going to work is we're going to start with a two-minute easy on the machine or run, whatever you choose there. And then you're going to rest 30 seconds, and then you're going to go into – our sets are going to be four minutes, three minutes, two minutes and one minute. And between each of those sets, you're gonna rest 30 seconds. So starting each set, the top of each minute, you're gonna go 20 seconds hard, 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 like a nine, 10 effort for the 20 seconds. And then the remainder of the 40, you are just gonna, you can go as slow as you need to go, but just keep moving. So again, you know, one of the four minutes, you're going 20 seconds hard and 40 seconds easy. Minute two, you're going to go 20 seconds hard, 40 seconds easy. So you're going to do that for the entire four minutes. Then you're going to rest 30 seconds. Then you're going to do the same thing for three minutes, rest 30 minutes, rest 30, one minute. So fun little cardio, but actually just sneaky sprints to get us started today. And then we'll work into, Willie, I'll give you a little sneak peek of our Pump session today. I have a body weight version and a minimal equipment version. Our minimal equipment version, Willie, I'll just give you a little sneak peek of that. I'm giving you guys some options based on what volume you are used to. So just take a quick note here. Seven sets, it's seven sets, rest five minutes, seven sets. If that's just completely overwhelming for you, or you haven't done a large volume of these movements, definitely stick to the end of three sets. Uh, because if you do the math here, seven sets is going to be 50, 49 to 49, but close to 50. And then part two, it, it's a lot uh, of pulling and pressing. Right? So minimal equipment version, we're going three to seven sets, depending on the volume that you're used to. We're going to go seven bench press. If you don't have a bench, you can do push-ups, any variation of push-up, knee push-up, regular push-up, weighted push-up, ring push-up, so many choices. Push-up with seven burpee broad jumps. We're going to continue working on those, that explosiveness today, 
uh, Burpee bra jumps. Don't underestimate them. I told you guys last time I did them, they make them short. So now they keep going up. <laughs> uh, however, if you are doing pump touch downs today, Willie, I wanted you guys to have the option to do a lower impact. If you want your knees to rest, I know Thursday's active report active resting for a lot of people, but if you're trying to keep the impact down and you just want more of the strength to keep this workout, then I'm going to say do inchworms. So you're getting a lot for your shoulder health and that, working all parts of the shoulders and upper body. So if you're trying to not have as much stress on your joints today, instead of doing the burpee broad jump, I'm going to have you do the inchworm, which is basically walking out to that push-up position, performing that push-up. You can drop your knees at that point if you need to, and then walking those hands back. So Again, the first piece after our sprints is going to be seven sets. Well, let me say three to seven sets based on where you are at uh, volume wise. <laughs> so, three to seven sets, seven bench press, <clears throat> seven burpee bra jump, or inchworm. Then you're going to rest five minutes. And then we're going to go back to three to seven sets, seven burpee pull up, or you can do renegade row on that. 14 dumbbell or kettlebell swing. So it's a lot of pushing and pulling today, guys. So like I said, if you need to do the three rounds instead of seven, that's completely fine. You guys know me, I just I love playing with numbers. So <laughs> seven works with our, our uh, set today. Lily, I wrote those just for you. I want to protect your knees. So again, there's you guys, no harm. It's just an alternative. If you burpee broad jumps, if you aren't wanting to have as much impact on your body today, you just want more strict strength for today's workout, just do inchworm. Don't underestimate inchworm. Inchworms are challenging. You're gonna have a lot of tension on those shoulders and inchworms are excellent for your overall shoulder health. And it's just a great movement, mobility, strength, all of the above. So you can always do the inchworms that you have options. Like I said, you're gonna have seven bench or push up into seven burpee bra jump or inchworms. And we're resting five, three to seven sets, seven burpee pull up or renegade row, 14 dumbbell or kettlebell swings. And same thing, well, if, if any of the kettlebell swing or the dumbbell swing whatsoever hurts your knees, sometimes I can actually, because of a, just like if you're struggling with pre, like I would assume a kettlebell swing will hurt your knee if you don't have any previous knee issues. However, sometimes um, if you have some low back stuff that's pulling on knees or anything, that can irritate it. So um, if that's the case for you, Willie, you can always renegade row. Or plank jack, plank jack, plank jack, plank jack, plank jack. We'll go through these. Okay, so body weight version. We're going three to seven sets. So for me, after the sprints, you're going to go three to seven sets, seven push-ups, any variation. Like I said, you can do knee push-up, regular push-up. Into seven burpee broad jumps or inchworms. Come here, come here, bud. Oh, my dogs. One moment. <laughs> then we're going to rest five minutes, and we're going to go three to seven sets, seven burpee pull-up or renegade row or plank jack. Oh, goodness gracious. And then you're going to have 14 bag swings. One second. Okay, my dog's tangled. BRB. Here. Hey. Sarah has her little jacket on. So she walks outside, she looks like this little red riding bear. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here buddy. Here she gets the biggest little dog jacket you've ever seen. She's so sweet. This little red riding bear. All right. Ready? 
So we're going to go back to and Willie too. If same, keep it low intensity, protect the knee today. I know you have a lot of that with um, M30 and everything else too. So if you need to, for instance, just do a regular push up into the pull up too, you can definitely do that. Oh, we have jokes today. Really, why did the chicken go to the gym? Why, Willie? Do tell. <laughs> Who doesn't love jokes? Fitness jokes. <laughs> All right, so as we're chatting, I'm going to go through these movements before we start our intervals because we're only going to have uh, five minutes rest before the next piece. So let's go through our movements quickly <laughs> to work on his pecs. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, why did you go to the gym to work on his pecs? <laughs> Let's see what you did there, Willie. I like it. <laughs> Rowdy, how's it going? Rowdy, what are you getting into us for fitness today? Remember you from Jane Life? Oh, good times. Oh, man, we had a fun time filming that one, too. That was a blast. That, you know, shout out and props to Dre on that one. He uh, actually went up every single member of the team's houses and stayed the night like he was actually with each of us for 24 hours it was really cool treadmill what are you getting into on the treadmill Rob, you should get into uh so the we're starting with intervals today some sprint intervals because you know go live to do sprint intervals to keep you accountable because who wants to sprint because <laughs> it's good for us uh, but our intervals, we're, I'm going to have us do today two-minute easy, and you can do it run, row, bike, ski, whatever, your choice, adult bike, um, two-minute easy, rest 30 seconds into four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute, and at the top of each minute, you go 20 seconds hard, like 9, 10 effort, 40 seconds easy, so... You do that for four minutes, then you rest 30 seconds, then you do that for three minutes, rest 30 seconds, easy. <laughs> it's a new fad called working. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Everyone's got jokes this morning. I appreciate it. <laughs> Rob, what do you generally do for fitness? I, I enjoy running myself, like you said, treadmill. Yeah, we work out. Maria, how's it going today? How are we feeling today, girl? I'm sure you're crushing it as usual. Speaking of treadmills, Maria has a table for her treadmill, so she can walk and do work at the same time. Pretty genius. All right, guys. So just to go over some of these movements. You know what? No, I'm going to go right now. Am I going to go over them now or no? We're just going to chit chat in between. So, I know you guys are familiar with the bench press with your push up, gang. You can do the push up in the plank position or you can drop your knees if you need to. You can do any variations of the plank position. You can drop your knees initially you come in the plank position first. You have a nice body alignment and then drop your knees and your back is still flat. And also, guys, you want to bring those elbows back towards your body, touch the chest and ground, extend those elbows. We don't want to see any chicken wings today. Combined with bench, I know you guys are familiar with that. Just make sure you lock at those elbows at the top. Our burpee broad jump, guys, you can still step up or hop up on that burpee, but then I really like to load those legs by bringing the arms back and hopping it forward. So, you know, some of us are more explosive than others. So if you're not getting super far on the broad jump, that's okay. Uh, I put a yoga style mat down for reference. So if it gives me like a point to shoot for on the distance, I do a broad jump and turn around. You can do them in a straight line if you would like to. Uh, so reference on that. You're doing a perfect so you can go back and step back here. 
jump up or step up. And then from this position, I like to keep my knees head athletic and I use the arms to jump forward. Don't underestimate the burpee broad jump, guys. More challenging than you think. You can also do an inchworm if you want to do a lower impact and just focus on the strength portion today, guys. So your inchworm, you're gonna have those feet a little bit wider than the hip width distance. Great for mobility and strength here, guys. And you're gonna walk those hands out into that plank position, at which point you drop your knee to your hip, or you can stay in this position, bring those elbows back towards your body, extend at the top, and walk those hands back. That will be your inchworm, great option. If, again, you're trying to lower the impact. Then we're going to rest five. And again, we're going three to seven sets based on the volume that you're used to. If you're not used to doing either of these movements, stick in the lower end of that. Maybe go three or four sets. If you're comfortable with these movements, you can go seven sets. We'll be on the audible schedule, so we'll see. <clears throat> Are we feeling today? Feeling some slight hip pain. Oh, I get that. We need to do our yoga flows, Aria. I'm in yoga teacher training, so we definitely uh, I was thinking about doing one this afternoon. <laughs> Have you been doing uh, sitting bottom of squats, Aria, that sort of thing? I imagine it hits get cranky. Diana, how's it going? Good morning. How are we feeling today? Do you feel better after rest day yesterday? Diana, what are you getting into this morning? All right, guys, so second set, we have burpee pull-ups, or you can do renegade rows. Uh, what else do I have? Yay! Diana has her session with Corey this morning. She has been doing all the things. It's amazing. By the way, you tell me how many push-ups I want to hear it for sure. So, guys. Second, so, yes, sorry, you know me, close. So then the second set, you're going to have burpee pull-ups or renegade rows or plank jacks combined with dumbbell or kettlebell swings. So burpee pull-up, I know you guys are familiar with that. We just went through the burpee. You can do banded uh, pull-ups, you can do jumping pull-ups, whatever is where you're at in your fitness journey. Uh, 30 to 40, Kaiway, that's amazing. Without stopping, that's incredible. So you guys, your choices to sub for burpee pull, you can renegade row, so you can also shoulder tap here, but renegade row, you'll have your dumbbells if you're choosing to do that. So you'll be in the plank position. I like to have my feet wider for the renegade row, just to have extra bounce without sticking that booty in the air. So you'll do a push up, and then you're going to bring that dumbbell back towards your hip and not squaring that elbow out. Hip, that'll be one. If you don't have dumbbells, you can always do push up, tap left, tap right for your renegade row. You can also sub plank jacks for this movement, guys. So you'll just come to that plank position and hop those feet in and out. Then you're gonna move to your dumbbell swing or your kettlebell swing, if you have a kettlebell. We're gonna work to swing that kettlebell overhead today. You can also do dumbbell swings. Same idea, guys. You wanna get that dumbbell all the way overhead. And if you're doing bag swings today, guys, so say maybe you have a rucksack, backpack, grocery bag with weight in it, you'll just be going. The thing is, is it's pretty easy to fill bags with weight. So you'll just be going to eye level on those. So here's my rucksack. This has 20 pounds in it. You can also grab just a regular backpack, throw some heavy things in there. Easy, easy team. All right, guys, so those are your body weight options and your minimal equipment options. Hey, I have a great workout. Let us know how it goes. 
<laughs> well, Aria, you are growing a human, so you can give yourself some grace. <laughs> we'll have to do a nice yoga flow for you this week, maybe today or tomorrow. I mean, you can, uh, yoga flows are a great workout too. Let's be honest. I did one at 5 a.m. this morning and it kicked my butt in a good way. <laughs> Aria, how's the house? Diana, let us know how the workout goes. All right, gang, any questions? We are going to get into our 12 minute warm up. Steven, how's it going? Steven, you're getting into fitness today. You're always getting into fitness. <laughs> we're going to start off with some friends today, guys. So you're, we're going to jump on, again, you can uh, pick a machine of choice or go for a run. So I'm going to use the rower today, but you can bike, run, you can always high knee. Okay, no, we did the high knees yesterday. Don't underestimate the high knee. So what that'll look like is we're going to do two minutes easy. Again, you're going to row, run, bike, or high knee. Two minutes nice and easy. We're going to rest. 30 seconds, even things are going well, having fun getting into some fitness with crew again, you know, keeping each other accountable. You gotta love it. So we're going to start two minutes easy. We're going to rest 30 and then we're going to get into our interval sets and we're just doing one time through four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. How it works at the top of each minute, you're going 20 seconds, nine, 10, very challenging effort. 40 seconds easy. So basically set number one being four minutes. We have four sets of that. 20 seconds hard, 40 seconds easy. Do that for four minutes. Then we're going to rest 30 seconds. And then we're going to do that on a three clock, a two minute clock, and a one minute clock. Then we're going to take five minute rest and get into our workout. I told you three parts today, guys. No rest for the, the weary. Woo, dumbbell snatches and burpees today. What rep team did you do, Marie? That's awesome. Oh, I love to hear that. Steven says back, shoulders and back today. Maybe a run on Saturday, Steven, I get that. <laughs> shoulders and back, that's always a good day. We have a secret, kind of like a pump session mix today. Maria, I love dumbbell snatches and burpees, to be honest. Let's go, nice work. House is good. Oh, that oh, fresh carpet seems so nice. Oh, no, Aria, yoga, it, I have to, like, keep it, like, reel myself in. I feel like I'm more likely to get her doing yoga than anything else. Yoga is challenging, but great. Six sets using 30 pounds. Let's go, Marie. Heck, yeah. That's awesome. And dumbbell snatches and burpees are an epic combination. Anyone out there doing the open knows that. That first week, woof. Aria, it's going to be so nice. You're going to have to send us some pictures. All right, team. Any questions? We're going to just hop right into it. I know it's a long one today. Thanks for bearing with me as we uh, go through all the movements in the workouts. But as we get cruising, it goes by fast. So you guys know that. Really, you asked about a pump session. This, my friend, I think will be a good one today. What will you do with the second part, you think, Willie? All right, guys, I'm going to get the rower set up. Ooh, ooh weighted push-ups and pull-ups as a warm-up. I love that. I do a lot of that as the, uh, kind of like the finisher, too, Stephen. It's kind of like just like nice little pump strength session at the end of a lot of workouts. Right there with you. Okay, so again, we're, I'm going to set the rower, guys. You can also do this as a run, tiny, all of the options. Machine of choice today, team. Okay, so I'm going to get this set, and we're going to start cruising.
Willie, what machine are you going to use? What color carpet are we in? Oh, really? Get us started. We haven't moved yet. Two minute warm up, 30 seconds rest. Then we're going four minutes, 30 second rest, three minutes, 30 second rest, two minutes, 30 second rest, one minute. 30 second rest and remember guys, each set, you're going 20 seconds hard, 40 seconds easy. However, we are starting off with just a two minute easy to get us going today. All right, team. Let's get started here. Okay. There it is. Thank you, Willie. <laughs> All right, rock and roll time. Willie, are you doing this after work today? Aria, let me know when you want to do a yoga flow. If you would do them in the mornings or the afternoon, and we can. Uh, that one up. Got to keep this almost, Maria's almost new mama moving. All right, guys, starting with our two minute easy warm up. We need to get this clock going. We're going to start in 10 seconds. Here we go, crew. Starting our intervals with a two minute easy warm up. We're going to have 30 seconds rest in three, two, one. Two minutes easy to start, guys. Too many easy. We're just trying to warm up ankles, shins, hips. Here are pulling. If you're running, like I said, you want to be in a really comfortable stalking pace. Then we're gonna take 30 seconds, 30 second breather here, and then we're gonna get into our first set of four minutes, and you're going 20 seconds. Hard sprint effort, 40 seconds easy. What I always suggest, guys, as a sprint, those first couple sprints, you might be warming up into it a little bit. Just make sure to take care of your body as you're warming up into those hard efforts. Just a reminder. We work on our long-term fitness here, first and foremost. 30 seconds. Good job, guys. 10 seconds, and then we're going to have a 30-second rest. To our first sprint interval. Like I said, guys, listen to your bodies on this too. Rowers are great, one, Lily. I dig it. I'm there with you. So, about to start 
Our first one, here we go, gang. And begin, 20 seconds here, guys. 20 second sprint effort. Five, three, two, here, 40 seconds easy. We're in our first four minute set right now. for our next sprint. So you can go as easy as you need to during your 40 second rest interval. Sorry, your 40 second easy interval because I really want you pushing the envelope with your 20 second charge. So again, three seconds, sprint interval in two, one, 20 second sprint. Remember, you can row, you can run, you can high knee. Just remember, guys, we want that 20 second effort hard. You can go as easy as you need to on this 40 seconds. Go ahead and begin here at 10. So we did our first set of four minutes, working as 20 second hard sprint, 40 seconds easy. Nice work, guys. Woo! Time to go for these sprints, Willie. And in three, two, one, starting the 20 second sprint. Should be nice and warm 
Remember, guys, you can make it 40 seconds as easy as you need to. You just want those 20 second sprints to be hard. You need like a nine effort, guys. Going again in 15 seconds. Sprinting again. In five, three, two, 20 second sprint. Nicely done, guys. Heck yeah, true. Keep it going, gang. We got this going in in five seconds. So this first 20 seconds right in three, two, one. Only 20 seconds, guys. Come on. Three, two, one, 30 seconds rest. 
Here we go, team. Last minute. I'm going to be prepped and ready for this last sprint. Ooh, gang. Gang, you worked hard to get this last sprint. Body's nice and warm now. So make this your fastest one. You got this. Five seconds. Three, two, one. 20 seconds for it. Come on, gang. Sprints, guys, nicely done. Heck yeah. Great work, gang. Nice job, guys. Five seconds. Three. minutes so you get not only a warm-up but your sprint intervals done for the day <laughs> that is a nice job can't crush it willie all right guys so i'm gonna get put that rower away uh so as i mentioned we got our sprint intervals in and also combine that as our we have our warm up for today. So, along with that, guys, what you want to happen here is I want you guys to have full recovery before you start these next two pieces, our pump session pieces. However, I want your body to stay nice and warm. So, if you're in a colder environment and you just need to move right through, right to the pump session, that's fine. But the sprint should take it out of you, it should take a second, you know. Get the lactic acid out of the arms, the legs, whether you cho chose to run or row, whatever route you took. So make sure you're recovered, grab some water, whatever you need. But I want you to stay nice and warm as we get into the strength piece next. Sound good? Anders, what's happening? Anders, we just did some sprints together. We did a sprint warm up for our pump session today. Anders, how's Burke? How's Kitchen Fitness? Are you still at the box or are you at home more these days? Great job, guys. So take whatever rest you need again to recover for this next piece, but also remember we're keeping the body warm. I don't need to get cold again before this next Andrews, do they have spring break in Denmark? Does Burke get spring break from school? Or is that just in the U.S.? <laughs> there are a lot of kids and parents in spring break right now. <laughs> oh, well, Anders, we're happy you popped in. Come back and hang soon. Send us some updates. We miss you. But we're glad that you popped in to say hi. All right, Willie, part A done. Willie, did you say you're doing this after work today? <laughs> okay, so like I said, guys, I want you to feel recovered before we get into our next piece. But at the same time, I want you to be able to stay nice and warm as well. So, moving into piece number two. I promised three pieces yesterday, so here we are. <laughs> so for part one, we're going three to seven sets. I'm gonna audible and see how this goes. If, again, if you are not used to volume of bench press or burpee broad jump or inchworm, 
go on the lower end of sets, shoot for three. If you're used to this and you're up for a challenge today, you can shoot for seven, completely up to you. I think I'm gonna do between five and seven. I will keep you posted. And we're gonna go seven bench press or push up and seven burpee broad jump or inchworm. I demoed these in the beginning if you need to see those again. And we're going to get right into it, guys. I think I'm gonna use 35s for the bench. I was going to go a little bit heavier, but if you're doing the if you're doing seven sets, guys, you also have to think that's 49 reps of pushing. Also, you're getting pushy pushing from the burpees before the broad jump. So that's another 50 there. So this workout's meant to build to compound on itself, guys. So it's like I said, a lot of volume. And set number two, we're gonna rest five minutes after these three to seven sets. And we're going into, again, some more pushing with some burpee pull-ups along with pulling and into some kettlebell swings. So I'm probably going to keep it lighter on the bench here, Willie. Uh, just knowing volume-wise that I'm probably going to be shooting for seven. Yay! Willie, yeah, I think that's a good idea. All right, Willie, I'm going to start here in one minute. I'm going to start in this 20-minute mark. And we have bench press, my friends. We're going bench and burpee broad jump. Seven bench, seven burpee broad jump. Never underestimate the burpee broad jump. <laughs> way more challenging than you think. Okay, seven sets, seven and seven. Really, I think that's wise. Going here in 15 seconds. Here we go. Eight seconds. Seven, seven, here we go, Willie. In three, two, one. Seven bench, seven burpee, broad jump. Just work it to fatigue the upper body. You can also inchworm too, just more strict strength, guys. But also good for that overall shoulder health. We have a drill, Willie. <laughs> okay, seven burpee brown jumps, guys. So I try to use the momentum of the burpee. Right into that jump. Nice job, guys. That's five. And seven. Again, here's a yoga mat for distance reference. Just to try to push the distance a little bit. For me, those more explosive probably go a lot further. Set number two. Here we go, guys. Seven. Woo. Remember, guys, it's 49 reps on the bench and the burpee broad jump, so make sure to pick a weight that's appropriate to that volume for you if you're doing the seven sets. In the broad jumps of set number two. Five. 
and seven. Whew, starting round number three. Nice job here, guys. Sit, Willie. seven. Starting round three of the jumps. Nice and steady guys. It's all about the compounding movements, compounding muscle fatigue. be over the hump here. Great work, guys. Ready to round four. Seven bench, four, seven push up. We're going into seven. Perfect broad jumps are seven inch horns. So let me know, Willie. Round number four. I'm starting to feel the chest. Seven inch horns or seven Murphy broad jumps. Here we go. And seven. Push it over the hook, Willie. Starting round five. Woo! Feeling that chest and upper body now, gang. Seven bench and seven push ups here, guys. Seven. Round five, seven burpee broad jumps or seven inch worms. Only two more sets after this. And seven, starting round six, gang. Two more sets to go. We'll take a nice five minute rest after that. Here we go. Starting round six, seven bench or seven push ups.
four eight. Seven burpee drive jump for seven eight four. End of the wire this one. She's filling up her body right now, guys. Nice job, buddy. Five, two more. One more. All right, guys, we're on the seven to seven here. Finish it up. Jumping bench, seven burpee. Broad jumper, seven inch worm. Where you go, fam? So started that one at 20, finished at 30, 17. So that part took me 10, 17. Great job. Good work, guys. Oof. Good, Robert, I know. YouTube safe music. It only gives you so many options. Honestly, I don't even hear the music. <laughs> so 30, 17, I'm gonna take five minutes rest here, guys. Again, it's problem session day, so you can take five to 10 minute rest. Whatever you need to recover, depending on how heavy a weight you chose. Before that first part. And then we're getting right into our third piece. So we started with some sprint intervals, get that heart rate up. Then we just did seven sets of dumbbell bench. You can also do barbell bench if you wanted to, or you could do strict push up. So seven bench seven burpee broad jump or seven inch worm. Now we have our five to 10 minute rest and we're going three to seven sets again, based on what volume you're comfortable with. And we're going seven burpee pull-ups or renegade row or plank, if you do plank jack, do 14, just so you know for that first part. So, Seven if you're doing burpee pull up, 14 if you're doing plank jack, and then you're going to go into 14 kettlebell swings, dumbbell swings, or backpack swing. So we're going again seven burpee pull up or renegade row, or 14 plank jack, and 14 kettlebell or dumbbell or bag swings for part two. How do we feel about that? <laughs> Well, I think 40s would be a good idea. I started to feel it in like the fourth set. Again, all of these, put these together, guys, compounding movements. You're going to feel more upper body fatigue as you go by design. So, again, next up, we're going to burpee pull up. Again, well, if you want to reduce impact on joints, you can just do one push up to one pull up as well. If you want to get crazy with it, always go weighted, but I wouldn't do uh, a burpee with any sort of like backpack. It's a burpee with the weight test that doesn't move as long as it doesn't hit you in the head. But I'm not a huge fan of any sort of like 
working with the weight on because it, it works with the sweat in your head. We don't want that. So if you want to do a weight pull up instead, Willie, you can do that or just a push up to pull up. Up to you. All right, guys. So part number two, we're going seven burpee pull up into seven dumbbell or kettlebell swings, my friends. Like you all over a smidge. Any questions for Everyone's like, nope, just ready to fitness party. I get it. <laughs> and for a lot of people, it's active recovery day, and I get that too. So well, we're getting after it today, as always. <laughs> you know this group, you know that. Whoa, hurricane, sorry, team. <laughs> Trying to shed a little more light on the subject. All right, guys, so we're going seven burpee pull up, seven dumbbell or kettlebell swing. Rock and roll, my friends. Oh, I knocked the clock over. All right, I have about one more minute here. Any questions, you guys? Body weight, you're going to have 14 plank jacks, 14 bag swings. Or you can do burpee pull-ups as well. Your choice. And for the burpee pull-ups, guys, you can do banded, you can do jumping, you can do whatever variation uh, works best for you or where you're at. Where you're at being a fitness period of the game. So I can actually grab my, my kettlebell for good measure here. But you guys can always use your dumbbell for the kettlebell swings as well. You guys know that. I feel like I have to get it. That's all right. I said five to ten, so I won't get too, too, too crazy with it. Well, it's going to be a fun one. Really got work waiting to do this. I'm sure Erica will too. She likes pump session days. All right, guys, three to seven sets. We're going seven and 14. I'm going to start here in 45 seconds. So that's going to give me about, I think, just under seven minutes. All right, guys, so again, we're going seven burpee pull up, 14 swing. Going 20 seconds. Shooting for seven sets, but we'll see. I put anywhere from uh, three to seven. Do I base off of one five? Sometimes we do Mayhem Athlete workouts, and some of those are. Uh, affiliate ones are going to want to you. Three, two, one. Starting with seven burpee pull ups, guys. Robert, we freestyle a lot of our workouts here. Sometimes we do some mayhem athlete workouts as well. Today is sprints and pump session style. Remember guys, you can do banded pull-ups, jumping pull-ups as well. Or you can do renegade rows, guys. Sneaky volume 
workout team. So do the volume that's appropriate for you. Three rounds is appropriate. Like I said, this workout is going to compound upon itself, meaning it's going to get challenging because we're doing a lot of pulling, a lot of pushing in the same areas. Okay, two, 14 swings, guys. Oh, really? Stay low to your grip. And 14. Like I said, guys, lots of pulling and pushing volume this morning. So maybe three rounds is appropriate for the second piece for you. Just do what you need to do. Whew. It's a public session today, so I want you to make sure you're maximizing. We're always trying to maximize our form and movements, but especially on strength days. Set number two, guys. Great work, guys. Three and seven. Hey, guys, pull-ups. You can cover the number of pull-ups. You can always do three pull-ups, six swings. You can always do four pull-ups, eight swings. Whew. Remember, this is going to be a taxing one on the grip gang. 14 swings. We're in set number two here. Remember to squeeze in those glutes at the top of that swing as well, guys. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze those hips. All right, crew. Set number three here. Burpee pull up. Burpee swings. Again, you can do a guest set for reps. You can totally do that. If you're a pump session, you can adjust as needed. Six, one more here. And seven. Third set of burpee pull ups done. Whew, on to the third set of kettlebell or dumbbell swings. Or you can do plank jacks here. 
Four bag of swings, guys. Fourteen. <clears throat> squeeze those glutes, guys. Fourteen. What I mean is, as you swing that kettlebell, you can squeeze those glutes, squeeze those hips, guys. Nice work, gang. Kettlebell that full body movement, too. Starting to, <clears throat> excuse me, open lumps that we look for here. <clears throat> Seven burpee pull-up. Her renegade rock. Now remember, you can do banding pull ups or jumping pull ups as well, guys. Come on, Willie. Come on through. All day long, Willie. And seven, over the hump on the pull-ups now. Starting around four, 14 kettlebell swings. You can also do bag swings here, guys. Backpack swings, you got this. Four, 14, here we go. Go, gang. Fourteen over the hump. I know that grip's getting tired, guys. I know that pull getting challenging, but you got this. You can do hard things this time, okay? Let's go. Set number five. Three more sets, gang. Seven burpee pull up anyway. Bam, jumping, whatever you need to do. Come on. One more here. I know this work gets a long grind, guys. You got it. Come on, crew. <clears throat> 14 kettlebell swings, dumbbell swings, or bag swings. Go guys. We're almost there. We're over the hump. <clears throat> Four, 
14. Nicely done, guys. Round number six, we're two more sets to go. <clears throat> Seven for Piccolo, or Renegade Row, or Pudding Stack. Come on, guys. We got it. Come on, man. Let's go through. Light at the end of the tunnel here. That's five. Fourteen swings, my friends. Let's go. We got this. Fourteen kettlebell swings, dumbbell swings, backpack swings. Back to the last set. Come on. Stay strong here, guys. That's 14. Final set here, girl. Woo! Come on, work that out for us today, team. Seven grippy pull ups. Pull ups anyway, or ready to get on the plank jack. Come on, team. Finish strong, come on. That's why it's two more. Shot team. Five swings right to it. Come on, gang. 14 kettlebell, dumbbell. Five swings. You got this last set. It's a grind. I know. Come on. 14. Let's go. Squeeze those glutes to the top here. Come on. Nice job, guys. Woo! Great work, team. 52 24. <clears throat> it was jump time with about. <clears throat> Seven minute rest after the second part. Oh, seven sets, Erica. Erica, how's it going? <clears throat> Great job, guys. Nicely done. So, I just finished the third part of the pump session, which was seven sets, seven sets, seven burpee pull up, 14 kettlebell, dumbbell or backpack swings. The pull ups aren't in the car tree today too. 
you could always do renegade row or push up shoulder tap at the top of that push up and you could do the push up anyway knee push up leg push up whatever works best for you so going over this whole workout thanks todd how's it going today so whole workout we started with some sprint intervals so uh willie and i picked rower today but you can pick rower you can run you can bike you can high knee if you don't have a machine but the idea is we did a two minute warm up. Thanks, Carlo. We did a two minute warm up and then we did four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute with 30 seconds in between those time frames. And in the four minutes, you're gonna go 20 seconds, a nine effort, 40 seconds easy. 20 seconds hard, 40 seconds easy. So you're gonna do that for the whole four minutes. Then you're going to rest 30 seconds. Then you're going to do that again for the three minute duration, rest 30 for the two minute duration, rest 30 for the one minute duration. Then you're going to rest five to 10 minutes, not enough time to get cold, but enough time to recover from the sprints. Hey, how's it going? Let me know if you guys get after this one or what you're doing for fitness today. We love all sorts of things. So once you recover from that first piece, part B is going to be three to seven sets. Again, based on the volume you're used to. If you're not used to either of these movements, then stick to the lower end of sets. If you are, you can get a little crazy today, <laughs> a little spicy and go for the seven sets. So I did seven bench, seven burpee broad jump. Or maybe you're trying to lower the impact today. You can do seven inch worms. So you're picking the weight on that bench, that you can do for seven. We want it to feel challenging because it's all this, this whole workout's going to compound. So it's going to get challenging as we go. It's a lot of pulling in, a lot of pushing. So, oh my gosh, 160 pounds means what? Oh my gosh, Carla, that's incredible. <laughs> so you're gonna go three to seven sets, seven bench, seven burpee broad jump, or seven inch worms. Then we're gonna rest five to 10 minutes. Again, enough time to recover, but still stay nice and warm. And you're going to go three to seven sets, seven burpee pull up. You can also do a renegade row if you need to, or you can do plank jacks for that piece into 14 kettlebell swings, dumbbell swings, or backpack swings. So like I said, lots of pulling and pushing. Ooh, that second part. Was grippy. Oh, grippy. Hello, grip. I <laughs> uh, definitely felt that. And I definitely felt chest, upper body from that first piece of the bench into that portion. So, this is a fun one, guys. <laughs> Willie asked for a foam session. She gets a foam session and some sprints because why not? <laughs> we do all the things. <laughs> Yay, Erica, what have you been up to today? Diana, how to go with Corey, or how's it going with Corey? Yay, oh my gosh, Diana, it's a fun one. Like I said, the sprints, trying to sneak in more sprints. We do a lot of similar time domain workouts, guys, and we got to make sure we're doing our sprint, our max effort things as well. My nerving hurts, but that's why we do that with friends. <laughs> but so, you know. If you haven't sprinted in a while, guys, try that four minute, three minute, two minute, one minute with the first 20 seconds of every minute being hard. I'm talking like nine, 10 effort. And that 40 seconds can just be a flop. Whether you're doing the rower or if you're out running, it can be, we call that a shuffle, <laughs> a shuffle. But we want those 20 seconds to be hard sprint efforts. So again, we did that for four minutes, three minutes, two minute, one minute with 30 seconds rest between. Um, and then, you know, if you haven't done burpee broad jumps before, I dare you. <laughs> uh, Huckleberry, we vary. Uh, this week, what time do you guys want to go live tomorrow? We do some in the morning, some in the afternoon, so that if people's morning schedule, some people can do it in the morning, some people can do it in the afternoon. But it's usually around 8 if we're doing it in the morning, and then in the afternoon, it's usually around 3 central. Please come join us. We have a great time. We have an awesome crew. 
over on YouTube too. That's what I'm talking to over here. And we have been doing this together. You guys, oh my gosh, for four years. This tribe is amazing. So come hang out with us. Come work out with us. This crew gets after it. We're always here to cheer each other on and come up with horrible, I mean, amazing workouts to do. <laughs> uh, 50 minutes total running clock, Erica. So the warm up ends up being 14 minutes, and then I waited till 20. So the 14, the first part takes 14 minutes with the rest, waited till 20, and then started part A. Yay! <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. You guys, Huckleberry's coming over and join us. <laughs> so then I waited till 20 minutes. So six minutes rest to get into part A, which is the first seven sets. And then I took uh, just under seven minutes until starting round uh, set, the third set of workout, part C. <laughs> the second seven set piece. So it's a good one. What do you guys, uh, I have some fun things on in mind for tomorrow, but if you guys are interested in anything special, let me know. Like I said, yesterday, we just did kind of like typical CrossFit style workout uh, with fun little prehab. We always do prehab warm up to start. We're into our longevity fitness here. <laughs> we want to be here for a while. So we'll do prehab to start typically and um, get right into it. You can always get wild and do both. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Whatever you guys feel like. Yeehaw! That works. Also, like I mentioned, I'm in yoga teacher training as well. So we're going to sprinkle in some yoga in here, guys. Keep it moving. It might this afternoon. We'll see if I get my homework done. <laughs> so we went around 8 today. And sounds like we're going to go similar tomorrow, maybe. Oh my gosh, yes, Diana. I would totally do Zoom style too. Because I'd love to hear feedback from you guys also. Lots of learning. You know how that goes. Well, guys, I'm super proud of you. You guys are going to crush this workout. Those of you doing it later, Willie was here for the duration. Willie, thank you. Uh, let me know how it goes later. Diana, Erica, you guys do this one later. Huckleberry, if you do this one later, let me know. It's a fun one. Like I said, don't skip your sprints, guys. This is a reminder to get some sprints in today. I know they hurt, but they're so good for you. <laughs> and you need your accountability and your friends to remind you to do that. Yay, Diana, that sounds so much fun. Yeah, you guys let me know. Let me know what the schedule is. All right, guys, so I will plan a rest similar time tomorrow morning unless you guys change your mind and want to do it in the afternoon. I'm up for whatever is best for you guys. Keep me posted. Will like aircraft day, don't let me know how this one goes. You guys are amazing. Huckleberry, come visit us over on YouTube. Same name. We'll be rocking and rolling and let us know how it goes. I want to hear how it goes if you do any of these pieces. And you guys all have the workout up as always in the description. And like I said, I started putting chapters in it. So if you go back and you want to just get to the workout or you want to relive us chatting, because we love chatting as we have to say. <laughs> but it'll also just be for the warm up and the workout too if you guys want to redo any of these. I'm trying to do that. So if you want to go back and do any workouts or you have any like, you can always do that. All right, team, you guys are awesome. Thank you for hanging today. Diane, thanks for coming back after Corey. Willie hanging the duration. You got me through that today, Willie. Thank you. <laughs> Erica, yes, we met you. I'm glad that you made it. Aria, too. I know she's here somewhere. You guys are awesome. As always, I'm super thankful for you guys and maybe see you for yoga later. Definitely see you guys in the morning. I hope you guys have an awesome day.